Hello and welcome. This is Christy Haig with a tutorial for you from digitalscrapbookingclasses.com. I am so excited to share with you today one of the new uh, add-ons to Photoshop Elements 10, Text on a Path. This is something that digital scrapbooker, scrapbookers have been um, hoping for in the Elements version of Photoshop, something that the full version of Photoshop has had um, and element users have not been able to take use, make use of um, yet, but now we can. So let me go ahead and show you just a little bit about the text on a path option. We're going to go to this text tool right here. If I click on it, I would just get the normal text tool where I can type um, a text box right on my document. But if I click and hold down just for a second, some options will pop up and you'll notice these bottom three are new in the version 10, text on a selection tool, text on a shape tool, and text on a custom path tool. The one I want to show you today is text on a shape tool because I think it's the simplest of the three. So I'm going to go ahead and click text on a shape tool. And you'll see here that I have a little shape that appears over my text tool to let me know that that's the tool that I have selected. So now my options up here, I have color, size, and font, just like um, you do with the regular text tool, but there is also a drop down menu here that has different shapes. So we'll start by just doing the rectangle, a simple one here. And so I'm going to go over to my layout and I'm going to click with my mouse and hold down and drag a rectangle, just as if I were drawing a shape with the shape tool. So I've let go of the mouse now and I have my rectangle and you'll notice when I hover my mouse right over the edge of the rectangle, I get this little text line and if I click, my text um, cursor will be waiting right there so I can go ahead and type. And I can click the check mark and I didn't quite get what I wanted there so what I'm going to do is go up here and just pick a slightly smaller size font and, oops, I didn't even get that. So I'm going to click here again, get my text tool, and I will go ahead and retype that. There, that's what I wanted to say. Check out how I can type on a path in Photoshop Elements 10. So I click the check mark, and I now have my text going all the way around the box. Um, text on a path. That was the rectangle. I'll go ahead and just clear that out now, keeping text on a path. Let's try a different shape. Let's go to the ellipse. The ellipse is a, um, an oval. If I hold my shift key down, it will actually make a complete circle. And it works the same way. Once I let go with my mouse, the shape is there. And if I hover over the edge of the shape, I can get my text tool. Now, instead of clicking the check mark, I'm going to show you just a couple of other tricks. Um, keeping inside this text area, I'm going to hold my control key down, or on a Mac it would be the command. And you'll notice that as I hover right over this beginning, there's a little line and there's a black arrow. Black arrow pointing to the left, and if I move over a little bit, it's a black arrow pointing to the right. There's actually two symbols right here. Right now you just see the circle here, but again, if I hold the control key down and I click on one and just drag it over, you're going to see that they're going to split. So there's actually a circle here and an X. The X is going to be your marker where the text will start, and your circle is going to be the marker where the text will end. So as long as I have my control key down, again, I can get this symbol and I can move the circle to where I want the text to end. So you see as I move it, it just keeps deleting sections of the text. And if I hold this here, I can move my starting point where I'd like it to be. Now you notice that some of the times, as long as I keep it up here, it's staying around. But if I drag it down below, it will flip the text, and it actually flips it entirely around. It makes this um, 
X mark into a circle, so it changes from the beginning of the text to the end of the text. And so then the text begins over here instead. But it also flipped it so that it was typing on the inside of the circle, which is a really fun trick. Now this is um, a bit tricky, so you'll have to do some practicing. But again, you can drag up or down, and you can drag where you want the starting point and ending points to be. If I click my check mark to take the text, and then hold my control key down, I can click and move the whole text on a path around my layout, which is also a fun um, option. Let me show you a different shape tool now. If I go up here, I can select a heart. And just as before, I'm going to click and drag my mouse to draw the heart. And then I'm going to hover over till I get the uh, text cursor tool and click down and type. Now you'll notice um, some of the text down here got a little bit squished. Um, anytime you hit a corner on a text on a path, you're going to probably want to do some touch-ups. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a space or two just to make it go up like that. But the other thing I want you to see is that right now um, I still have the line of the heart. But that's actually just a tool for me as to see as I'm typing. If I click here in the Layers palette off of that layer, the line goes away and you just have the text. So it's fun to do on a layout um, around anything. You don't have to worry about the extra line getting in your way. The text is just on the path by itself. If I take, let's do it with the rectangle, because it's probably the easiest to see, and I make a rectangle the size that I want. And again, I could hold the shift key down and it would make an exact square. Now if I click here, it's going to give me the text. But if I were to click in the middle, it's going to allow me to draw a second rectangle. I could have clicked anywhere off the line, in the middle or on the outside. It's going to let me draw a second rectangle. And then when I hover over the edge, it's going to combine the two rectangles together. So there I have it. Now what I'm going to do is just hover over again with my control key put down because I want to move the start up to here. And I'm going to move my end over there. And I want the font, I want the type to go all the way around, so I'm going to, I clicked the check and I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger font, and that was too big, so instead I'm going to type in, let's try 27, and hit enter. That's a little too small yet, 28, and hit enter. Try 29, there, that's what I want, I want it to go all the way around. And just like I did with the heart, I'm going to go ahead and click back get my little text mark and click back in it and just space this out a little bit so that um, it looks a little bit better, not so squished in with there. And so there you have it, text on a path, some fun options. Um, if you want to learn more about the text on a path tool, um, specifically some of the other text on a path options, um, we're going to be covering that in our tips for text class in our paid member section. Um, but for now, this is Christy Haig from DigitalScrapbookingClasses.com. For more tutorials and classes in digital scrapbooking, head over to DigitalScrapbookingClasses.com. Have fun and keep scrapping memories.